Hi everyone. I'm going to read a book called Say Please Louise, A Cautionary Tale by Phil Roxby Cox and illustrated by Jan McCafferty. <clears throat> this is the tale of little Louise, a dreadful young girl who would never say please. What Louise wanted, she simply took. Oh, a piece of toast, a seat, a book. Say please, Louise, the others pleaded. A please and thank you is all that's needed. How did their faces look? Maybe annoyed or irritated. She would never, ever wait her turn. Say please or thank you. She'd never learn. Look, she just cut in front of the line of all those kids waiting. Her poor parents were left in despair. But little Louise simply did not care. Oh. She's not a very nice little girl, is she? Say please, Louise, the others pleaded. A please and thank you is all that's needed. I want some ice cream. Take me to the lake. Buy me a toy boat. Get me some cake. Ooh, that is not how we ask for things, is it? Say please, Louise. The others pleaded. A please and thank you is all that's needed. Hmm. Louise would shout. She would command. She would order and she would demand. Oh, she would yell and be bossy. Say please, Louise. The others pleaded. A please and thank you is all that's needed. How are her parents looking now? I think her mom looks really angry. But all was to change one Sunday at two when her parrot escaped and flew into the blue. I want a new pet. I don't care what you say. I want a new pet and I want one today. Ooh. Not very nice. Say, please, Louise, the others pleaded. A please and thank you is all that's needed. The following day at Wilson's Pet Store, Louise made an announcement as she burst through the door. I don't want a goldfish, a snake, a lizard, or a bunny, or a hamster, or a guinea pig, or that frog that looks funny. I don't want the insect with the six sticky feet or the canary named Mary or that blue parakeet. Ooh. I don't want a dog and I don't want a cat. She pointed up high. That is what I want. And do you know what her dad didn't do that day? <clears throat> he didn't mention manners. He simply said, Okay. The bird studied Louise with an unblinking eye, grabbed her in its talons, and screeched, Time to fly! Then it flapped its huge wings and flew up, up, and away. And little Louise had not been seen to this day. But there are those who claim to have heard on the breeze a small distant voice crying out, Help me! Please! Oh, that Louise. What do you think she should have done instead of screaming and yelling at her parents and at her friends and taking things? What is the right thing to do? Hmm. Huh.